it's funny because when a human would initially see that without training or science, they'd say, well, obviously that was created to make that, but, but they don't see the millions and millions of years they don't of see the that, mutations no. that created this yes. thing that now seems designed. There's the other thing that might occur to them, not with respect to the, to the hammer orchid, but with respect to, say, um, lions and antelopes. You see, a lion is a beautiful machine for chasing antelopes and killing them. And the antelope is a beautiful machine for escaping from lions. Well, whose side is God on? I mean, you know, why would he create, if, if, if he wants the lion to eat the antelope, why, not, why make it so difficult? And if he wants the antelope to escape from the lion, why make the antelope so fast at getting away from the lion? Why, why make the lion so good at catching antelope? Um, so you cannot really reconcile, I think, a creator view with the fact that nature really is red in tooth and claw. There's an enormous amount of suffering. And the, the predators are beautifully designed to kill the prey, and the prey are beautifully designed to escape from the predators. So you think that, obviously, well, what's God in it for? Is he, is he, does he like the spectator sport? Is he a sadist? You know, um, it right. doesn't, doesn't make any sense. And we only see <coughs> that because it's in homeostasis. If for some reason the lion was much better, there would be no prey. Exactly. Yes. And if the prey was so much better, there would yes. be no lion. Yeah. And so we see this probably very temporary view. I mean, that might not exist a thousand years from now or even a hundred years from now because the world will change. But when we see it, it's very easy not to see the evolution behind it, and we see something that was created for us, like we might see a product that was created for us, or you know, a beautiful coffee maker that does something similar. We are surrounded by machines that are made for our benefit, by things, not just machines, but, but everything we look at, and all these cameras around here, and they're obviously made, made by somebody, there's no question about it. And so it's very, very tempting when you see a beautiful mechanism like an eye, which looks like a camera, to think of that as being designed, and it, it takes a, a great leap of brilliance, actually, which Charles Darwin had, to recognize, I think the reason, why I've actually often been puzzled why it took so long for a Darwin to arrive on the scene, because actually his idea is remarkably simple. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't require a lot of mathematics and a lot of sophisticated thinking, but 200 years after Newton, and Newton after I mean, what Newton did was very, very, very clever. What Darwin did, it turns out, must have been clever because nobody did it before. But it's terribly simple. Um, and I think the reason that it took so long is that the, it, the eye looks so like a camera, looks so like an, a device that must have been designed that it, people just didn't even dare to contemplate the possibility that it was anything but something designed. Right. Darwin saw it because he, well, he was a naturalist, he saw so much, but he also knew a lot about domestication. He, he studied pigeons and dogs. So he saw the power of selection to produce, to change a wolf into a bulldog or into a Pekingese, um, and saw how quickly selection by the human eye can produce this dramatic change. And all he had to do was to say, well, maybe you don't need a human eye to do the selection. Maybe it can be done by, um, by nature. Hey, it's Brian Rose, founder of the DeFi Academy. I've told you my four week crypto bootcamp is amazing, but don't take my word for it. This is what my students are saying. The DeFi Academy was an amazing experience for me. It took me totally out of my comfort zone. In this course, I was challenged I was held accountable and pushed to do things that honestly weren't always easy. It's been phenomenal, and I can't believe uh, we're already up on our four weeks. It has flown by. Going through this DeFi accelerator by far was one of the best courses I've taken. You do this course, you really get into the nitty gritty of the activities that will make you comfortable with decentralized finance. Thank you so much to Brian and everyone at London Real and the DeFi Academy for even putting together an amazing course like this. Anybody else that wants to do it, please sign up. It is well worth the money.